Hey guys, how are you? It's good to see you. So, I have some unbelievable news. Um, it's really, I, I'm so happy right now and I still can't believe it happened. I won the lottery, guys. I won the freaking lottery. And I right away pre-ordered some cars over the weekend. I got an F12 Berlinetta coming. And I'm on the list for the F12 TDF because actually money can buy it. You know, you don't have, need to have the connections. I got a GT3 RS 911R. The LaFerrari and a Rolls Royce Ghost, which are all pre ordered. Um, so, we got some cool content coming up for you guys with these cars. And yeah, happy April Fool's Day. It's of course just a joke, unfortunately. <laughs> I haven't won anything. Yeah, but these are the cars I would like to buy if I had the money. Anyways, um, I kind of want to give you a, a little, you know, not an update, but kind of like a weekly talk thing, you know, talk about cars, yo as Alejandro would say. Um, I, don't have, I, don't, I don't have a name for it yet, quite yet, but I will think of something. But let's talk about Casio. So there are really two things this week that really uh, remained in my mind to talk about to you guys about. Um, the first thing is, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the new motor trend head-to-head -head where they compare the Camaro with uh, the BMW M4. And guess who wins? The Camaro. And if you have seen my Ford Mustang review already, then you might actually know what I think of the American cars and uh, how much they have improved and, you know, yeah, they, they really took a big step forward and can really compete now with European sports cars. But I would have never believed that in 2016 a Camaro SS would not only outperform the BMW M4, but also be better, be more emotional, more engaging, the more fun car as of you know motor trend i mean that's their opinion of course but um they try to keep the the, the test as um objective as possible and yeah I, I was very very surprised but it's somewhat um you know i don't want to say it made me happy but it it made me feel um you know it confirmed my own opinion because i thought the same they talked about in their episode I thought that BMW M has kind of lost their nice flair, you know, it's not as emotional anymore as it used to be. It's more a luxurious, comfortable car like, like an AMG is supposed to be. And that's quite sad because I love BMW. I'm from Munich, it's my home brand, you know, I grew up with BMWs, I, you know, I have been fortunate enough to grow up with BMWs and I just know how much fun they were and how engaging they were and everything. Now, of course, you know, there are emission standards, um, they are very strict in Europe, you know, and, you know, I'm not blaming BMW for, you know, downsizing their engine. Um, they had no choice at the end of the day. And, you know, as they say in the, in the review, for a turbo engine, it's a good car, but it's just not good enough to compete with a naturally aspirated V8 in a Camaro SS. Um, but not only that, also the steering feedback in the Camaro is better, the suspension is better, just the whole driving experience is better. Very surprising and the best part is the Camaro SS costs like half as much as the BMW M4 does. So definitely try to get my hands one of these, on one of these. Um, you know, I can even go to, to Hertz and just rent one since it's such a common rental car, the Camaro SS. So I would definitely make a video about that car this year, I promise you guys. The next topic, of course, um, I don't know, most of you might have seen it. Um, last night, Tesla unveiled the new Model 3. And I would really like to know what you guys think of it, you know. I, you know, of course, I'm a, as you know, I'm a car enthusiast. So electric cars are not really my, my, my sort of tea. But now that I have to commute so far to work every day, about 100 miles back and forth, um, I'm really thinking about getting a Tesla electric car just to save on the gas cost because it's really annoying to fill it up, you know, two or three times a week, my BMW here, my 335. Uh, yeah, and the other good feature in the Tesla is the autopilot, so that would be very, very nice to have. Yeah, but the Tesla Model 3, um, supposed to cost uh, $35,000 base and... Um, the 
base model is supposed to accelerate in under 6 seconds to 60 miles per hour which is pretty good for a base car for that price especially and not only that but it also gets the 215 mile minimum range so it's about the same I think as the model S as far as I know um, yeah so it looks like you know if I would own a Model S I would be quite upset at the moment because you know I can say oh I drive a Tesla and everybody knows oh this guy drives an 80k or 100k car high-tech car and now you know everybody can buy it for 35 grand but that's just the way it is and that's also okay I mean back to the electric car topic I think it's good if the general public drives electric cars to get from point A to B I hope you know it will make the environment better I mean I don't want to talk about global warming or any of that stuff that's not nothing I would like to talk about but just you know if it increases the air quality you know for all of us then hey go for it let's do it and yeah I just don't want that you know the M cars and Porsches of the world and McLarens are becoming electric cars you know that's all I'm hoping for because those few cars they really don't make a difference you know there's no point in making them electric in my opinion and I hope as long as I live there won't be full electric super sports cars you know I can only hope yeah just let me know what your guys opinion is on the new Tesla Model 3 and also what's your opinion on a Camaro SS beating a BMW M4 um, I would like to read your comments see what you think and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.